becoming such a big game changer in the hospitality industry. A lot of restaurants are closed or less patrons. Uh, a lot of businesses have turned to the food delivery channels. So Uber Eats, Menulog, Just Eats, DoorDash. With all those different platforms, it increases the chance of a sale and increases revenue, but also increases the complexity. And so we're just going to give you a quick overview of a platform which we've been using called Deliverec, which you can see on my screen here. Uh, the whole purpose of Deliverect is, is to bring all the different channels into a single platform. Uh, instead of managing a product or menus across different delivery channels, you would manage it once and then that would then take all the burden of going and updating all the different channels uh, with the relevant information. Uh, as you can see here, you can get all the different orders in one view um, and they have a quite a handy uh, Android and iOS app as well um, that goes through. Um, now, what the way it works is all the different channels are integrated through APIs into Deliverec, so they manage all the different connections, uh, and then you manage the, the middle portal uh, on how that works. So you can see here some of the key features. You've got order management, so like I said, all the orders that come in to Deliverec portal can also be pushed into your pods. So if you've got an existing pods and the Deliverec platform integrates with it, it opens up a whole new world of orders now being appearing on a single existing infrastructure instead of having new technology in place. Uh, you also have the menu and stock management, so we found this quite useful to manage one menu, but then have that menu applied to all different uh, channels, and you can dice and chop up that menu in different ways uh, to make it appealing and suit the channel that you're targeting. So. For example, you can have certain products in that menu that appear on Uber Eats and DoorDash, whereas you can have certain items only appear on Deliveroo, all within the single menu. Uh, and then you also have the reporting dashboards as well. So unlike the current platforms or their own portals where you only get the data for the last seven days and it may be 24 hours behind, the reporting dashboard that you get through Deliveract takes into account all the orders that it's received. Um, places that analytics and provide you a single view of all your delivery channels. So you could be two hours into the night and then be able to realize, all right, you're lacking in sales across all your channels or you are hitting target and then make corrective actions such as run a promotion, um, put up certain items, uh, drop the prices in certain items. So you can have the flexibility because you have the insights available at the right time. Now, if we just jump into pricing that's interesting to, to note. So these are prices in US dollars. So you can see here it's worked in tier pricing. So you've got small, medium, and large, uh, depending on which platform or which type of product you need. Um, now, one of the key differences is how many orders you get a month. So you can see here, you can take up to around about 360-ish orders a month to be within the, the, the small package. Medium, you start going up to $99 mark. To around the, I think it's about 800 or 900, 800 there, 750, and then you go to the large package, 149 dollars per month, um, and then you do have, for, if you are a big customer, look at the enterprise product to get that customized pricing, um, because you do have to consider the different locations and how you want to dice that up. Um, the way we found it is there is sometimes a one-time setup fee. Um, we've set it up with integration to Square. Uh, because through Square you get a deal, I think it's $150 or $100 for the setup fee, so one time. Um, but then you can always try to negotiate with them and see what you can get as a deal from them. Um, and then you can have a look and see from an integration standpoint, there's quite a few POS systems that integrate with it. So if you already have an existing one, they have built up quite a repertoire of different platforms that they are linked to. So you can see here, you've got different ones that are suited for each of the different countries. Um, they're located in multiple countries as well um, and you can also link it up to inventory management as well so if you've got certain needs again it's dependent on the platforms integration they've got um, but there is also an API which we have access to and so the way we look at using the API is we we manage a in-house with WooCommerce and then WooCommerce would then speak to SquarePoz and then SquarePoz speaks to DeliverX. So we use SquarePoz as that middleman because it has integration with SquarePoz um, and we just take benefits of the, the free model that Square offers as a POS to be that middleman with um, with DeliverX. And so whenever we've got a, a product that's sold, the system in WooCommerce will look at it, pass the message on to DeliverX through the API to tell them snooze this product. So it automates a lot of the features from it 
um, instead of having that need for employing someone, writing down the sales, uh, it's all available within the platform. So yeah, so check them out. It's a good solution which we found to manage it. We'll do a, a demo at a later point on the actual app that is available from them um, because you don't always need a pause. You can also use their app to manage those products and those orders coming through. So the link's in the description below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe um, and keep up to date with all the, the new tips, tricks, and uh, product offerings that we're going through at e-commerce for success.